Hi guys, this is Karen with Crafting It Up. Today I'm going to show you how I did my DIY lantern. All the supplies I used are from the Dollar Tree besides the paint. Um, the supplies you will need are four 4x6 four frames, one 4x4 four four frame, one 6x6 six six frame, which is the graduation picture. Um, it holds a 4x6 pitcher but the actual frame itself is six by six so if you're looking for it um, it's shown in the picture right there it has like a little um, clip to hold the picture I did use that as my base um, I used a little lantern that I found in the candle aisle and then I used these boxes that I found back in the party section they had all different sizes um, I took the large one and I used the lid for the large one and then the other one was like the medium size and it came with two. I used that as well. I used um, just one so I have extra if I decide to do another lantern. Um, the little lantern that I found I had my husband cut down and I'm going to show you both ways and it's really your preference of what you like. I liked it cut down. He just used this handsaw and it came right apart. So. If you have someone that can do that for you or if you're able to do that. Um, I used white chalk paint that I got from Joanne Fabric and brown chalk paint that I got from Walmart. And I used two rough brushes. Um, and that's basically it. I did use E6000 glue and my glue stick. Uh, my glue gun. And then other than that, that was it. Um... I'm trying to think. I mean, oh, I did use a little ring that I will show you after um, for the top of the lantern. And I just had that at my house. So if you don't have that, you can use, use the ring that's on top of the lantern already. Um, and without further ado, let's get started. So right now I am just taking all the backing of the frame off. I'm only keeping the frame itself and the glass. So all the little tabs that hold the pictures down, you're gonna that hold the back of the frames down, like the glass and everything, you're gonna just pull them off. They come off very easily. Same thing with the four by four frame, I'm doing the same, taking them out and keeping the frame and the glass. The graduation one that was a six by six I'm removing the front of it which was the little clip um, just the piece of paper and then the back of the frame that will that holds the frame up I'm removing that um, I'm removing the back of the uh, cardboard and I'm just keeping the frame itself So I'm going to use my hard brush and I'm just painting on the white chalk paint around the frame. You do want to get in the inside of the frame, you want to get on the sides and the back. You don't have to have this perfect, you're just brushing it on real quick um, because you want it to look streaky and distressed looking. If you want it clean and look and not distressed then yes you will have to paint it um, with a couple coats. I only am doing one coat on each frame just to get that look that I'm going for. After I'm done that, I will continue to do all four 4x6 four frames. I'm only going to show you the one frame just to speed up time and show you how I do it. But again, I'm just using the white chalk paint and just doing it really quick and going around the front the back, the sides, and the inner sides. Then I'm going to take my 4x4 four four frame and do exactly the same thing. This one you will not see the underneath part um, so just make sure you get the top of the frame and the sides and then the inner part. I went ahead and painted the back real quick but you aren't, well, after I put it all together you won't see that so you really don't have to paint underneath of it. 
um, but just make sure you get the sides and the front and then inside the inner sides um, and that should be good So after I'm done that, I'm going to take a different brush, and it's another hard brush, and I'm just going to lightly put on the brown um, chalk paint. I do have antique wax too that's brown, so you can either use that or the brown paint. And you're going to take the side of the brush. I don't put a lot on my brush, so if I got too much on the brush, I just wipe it down. And I just want a little bit, and it's almost like streaks. So I'm just doing like the sides, the top. And just brushing it on very lightly because I just wanted to give it that distressed look. I'm not painting the whole thing. I'm just doing little parts. Um, I try to get the corners and the sides. Anything that you would that would look like it would be beat up if it was an old lantern. I'm going to do the same thing with the 4x6 frames. very lightly just getting it inside the corners um, I'm not painting the whole thing as you could see it's just a little bit just to get that look I'm going to do the back Now I'm just going to do the base. The base I did do two coats because it had writing from the graduation um, picture. It had like 2020 grad. You can see through it. So I just wanted to clear that up and not be able to see like the red and the yellow coming through. So I did give that two coats. But that's the only thing I gave two coats. Um, where the little clip was to hold the picture down, I did put a little um, light, uh, lightweight spackle. They have that at the Dollar Tree. I did pick up a can of that. I forgot to mention that. Um, and I just put a little bit in there. You don't have to put it in there because you can use that as the back of your lantern. And you don't really see it because the frame is over top of that but I just wanted to put it on there so it was easier to paint um, so I did use a little bit of that then with the boxes I started to do the same thing I just covered the boxes with white chalk paint that the boxes I did do a couple coats as well just because of the writing on it you could see through it um, so I wanted to cover that up as much as possible right now you're seeing me do two different boxes I only used one I just did two because I wasn't sure what size I wanted to use um, so I went ahead and did two and I actually practiced on one to get the look that I was going for so I just did an extra one you don't have to do two I just did that um, and then with the lantern I took the bottom part off I just used a little tool just to get the whole bottom part off because I just wanted I didn't want the light in there I just wanted the lantern itself um, I went ahead and used the same white chalk paint brush that I'm using for all the frames and just painted that white. I did get inside there because you could see through it and because it was like that um, darker metal look I wanted to make sure I covered that up so inside I did paint white as well. Now I'm just using the brown chalk paint to cover um, the base and again I'm just lightly brushing it on little streaks here and there back and forth um, make sure you get the sides I'm just giving the boxes another coat um, just to cover up the patterns that were on there because they were kind of bright colors and you could see through them I think I just did two coats and that was it um, and then it pretty much covered it up but you can make that call as you're doing it if you think it needs another coat go ahead and do another coat um, 
and now I'm just taking the brown chalk paint and doing the same thing just you know lightly putting it on the lantern and that would be that's going to be on the top of the the lantern that we create so I'm just lightly brushing it on there and now this is the large box and I'm only I think it was five inches across I'm only using the lid for this one so I'm going to paint that white and this I will be doing a couple coats too just because of the patterns you can see through it with just one coat you don't have to do underneath you're not going to see that um, just make sure you get the sides and I'm doing the brown wax in the boxes again I'm only going to use one of these which you'll see me doing too and again it's just to practice the coloring and how I want it um, and I wasn't sure what size I was going to end up using so now I'm going to put just glue on the corners to get the glass back glued in. I didn't use E6000 for this. I just used my glue gun for the glass um, and it pre it's stuff pretty good. So if you want to use a little E6000, you can. I didn't. I just used my glue gun and I did it for all 4x6 frames and the 4x4 four four frame. Now the lantern part, I'm just adding a little more white to it, just because it was a dark gray lantern, it was a little too dark for everything else. Um, I did go ahead after, and you'll see that, I took my gray chalk paint and added that a little bit to the boxes, just because I wanted to, to blend nicely. Um, I mean, it was pretty close in color, but I did want a little bit of gray in there, and you'll see me do that in a couple minutes but once I start putting it together I noticed that it was a little dark for everything else now I'm just using the brown to you for the other box that I didn't end up using I didn't end up using the big one um I ended up just using that smaller one um, because I liked the way it looked. So now I have one when I'm going to do a bigger lantern, so I'll probably end up using that. But um, I didn't use it for this lantern. I'm just giving the lid another coat up white I'm just bending the the base down a little bit because it was kind of lopsided. Just trying to get it straight. I'm just peeling now some of the glue strings that 
from the glue gun. Um, I tried to get them off first before I put it all together so I'm not going inside the lantern to get them. Um, so I'm just cleaning it up a little bit because you will get this little glue string from the glue stick. So right now I'm just matching the colors and that's when I noticed that it's a little too dark the lantern. So I went ahead and um, got my gray Oh wait, first I'm doing the lid, I'm sorry. Putting the brown chalk paint on the lid, which will be on the top of the lantern. I'm just brushing it very lightly just to get that look that we're going for. Um, and that's when I noticed that it was a little too dark. So I went ahead and got my gray chalk paint and I just added a little gray to the boxes. Um, and that worked out perfect. It matched the colors perfect. Um, the gray that I used was from Joanne Fabric. And it was like a lighter gray if you're looking for one, but you can use a darker gray too. I mean, whatever you guys have is fine. And again, you're just brushing that on very lightly. Anytime I'm doing any of these type of crafts, I play around with the colors just to get it to my liking. So. If you're fine with it, just leave it. I like to match things perfectly. I'm OCD, so I wanted to get those colors matching, so I did add the gray, but you really don't have to. Um, it's totally up to you. I did add the gray to the base a little bit too because that um, didn't have any, uh, it needed that color. Um, it just was too light. Okay, now I'm start. I'm gonna start to put it together. So I'm taking the top of the box, the smaller one. I decided to use. I'm putting hot glue on that, and it didn't. I noticed that it didn't stick itself. So that's when I got my E6000 glue. I added a little bit of that to it. And that's going to secure it. Um, the glue, the glue, hot glue gun is going to um, keep it in place. That way you can finish your project. But that E6000 is really going to secure your project so it doesn't come apart. So I went ahead and used that and the glue together. And now I am doing the same thing. I'm putting the E6000 around the lantern, the top of the lantern. And then I'm going to use my glue gun and put it just on the corners and get that situated. Once that is set, then I'll move on to the frames. So that's going to be the top of your lantern. Like I said, that top of the lantern I did not cut down. That's as is. So you're going to see it both ways with it like that. And then you'll see it once my husband cut it down. Um, again, I liked it cut down but you can leave it if you like it a little taller like that um, so now I'm gluing I glued the lid and now I'm gluing the um, 4 by 4 frame so right now I have the 4 by 4 frame then the lid from the larger box then the smaller box the bottom of it and then the lantern on top now I'm going to start putting the frames together. I put E6000 on one side, a little bit of glue, and then I put them together. I put the detail part out. I like that the little, they look like little balls all around it. Um, I like to show a little bit of detail, so that's what I used. Just how the frame would be, I used it like that. 
and you're just going to hold those frames in place until you feel like it's sturdy enough to let go. Um, I do leave it there a couple minutes it takes. Like I said, the E6000 is going to secure it. The glue gun is just setting it so you can move on with your project. So the glass did come off on one a little bit, so I just threw some glue, hot glue on there and um, put it back together. So now I'm going to put the last piece of the lantern on. Um, I'm going to use some, same thing, E6000 around the edges and then the glue one. on one side. I always use the E6000 first before I use the glue gun because the glue gun, the glue dries so fast so you want to get as much on as quick as you want to get it on as quick as you can to, and then put your other piece on. So I do the E6000 first then I do a little bit of the glue gun just to set it and I just leave it there for a couple minutes. So now I'm going to glue the top of the piece to the frames and play with it like wherever you're going to display it and the front that you want. If there's a better side, I always like look at the sides of which one I want as my front um, before I glue anything down. So now I'm going to put the E6000 around the top of the frames. I'm going to do that first and then I'm going to take my glue gun and real quick do the corners um, maybe in the middle a little bit just to get it enough on there and then I'm going to place that on top. Now it is going to hang over the edge a little bit on in the front and the back of the lantern and that's okay because um, you're not going to have it perfect unless you find a frame that's going to fit that perfect. which. I thought a 4x4 would since the frames are 4x6s but because you're putting them together it ends up being a little bigger so maybe a 5x5 would fit I'm not sure um, but I did 4x4 four four. so I left the, um, the bottom open I didn't glue that down so I can put the candle in there so here is the final project with the lantern at the top not cut. Um, I felt like it was a little too big so I went and had my husband saw it down a little um, and here it is with the lantern cut.